When it comes to booking MCs, a lot of club owners have it all wrong. This is episode eight of Ask the Joke Doctor. Hi, this is Jerry Corley, StandUpComedyClinic.com. Welcome to episode eight of Ask the Joke Doctor. And in this episode, we're gonna discuss how all the club owners, or a lot of the club owners, have it all wrong when it comes to booking MCs. Let me tell you something, there's nothing more important in a show than having a good, skilled MC. And when I say skilled, I mean experienced. There's nothing worse than some, some guy who's just been doing comedy six months, now gets up there, is gonna MC an entire show. That MC is so important as far as keeping the transitions warm, they're actually producing that comedy show for that evening. If you think about it, the MC's gotta get up there, warm up the audience. They gotta get everybody in the soup. They gotta get everybody in within five minutes or 10 minutes, get them prepared to laugh at all the comedians and keep them moving all the way through the show. When you have a brand new person, they're not, they're not skilled at this. They have no experience. So how are they gonna engage everybody and make them feel like the show is alive, the show is moving, the show is happening, the show is dynamic, and it's dynamic right now? If you put a guy in there who's only been doing comedy a year or six months, they're just not gonna have the tools. And when clubs do this, they do an absolute disservice to not only the, all the comics that are coming on after the MC, but to the house, uh, to, the, to the guests who are in the audience. Let's, let's face it, the number one thing you have to think about in a, in a, in a show is, are the people, the guests, the crowd, the audience. They're the ones who pay the ticket price. They're the ones who are there to watch the show. They're the ones who are the fans of comedy or the fans of the comedians coming on the stage. If you mistreat them or you shortchange them or you give them shit or crap, they're not gonna wanna come back to your club. So just a note to club owners, Book your people, guys who are out on the road, guys who are in the, in the outpost, guys in Chicago, uh, Zanies in Chicago, run by Cindy Nelson. She manages that club out there, one of the best clubs in the country. And one of the reasons is their, their house MC is a local headliner. So that's a guy that's got at least five years experience, I'm thinking, right? Something like that. And if you, if you do that, they can engage with the audience. And there's a, there's a that's the secret to having them stay present and with you the whole show through. So an MC's job is this. Get on the stage, welcome the audience, warm up the audience, go through the housekeeping, where the bathrooms are, uh, you know, see if there's birthdays, warm them up, get them going, make them laugh, engage them, have some crowd work. Don't just get up there and do your material. Being an MC doesn't mean getting up there and just so, sort of, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. You're there to get them enter, entertained, get them uh, wound up, get them ready and warm for the show. What I like to call putting everybody in the soup. And that means making fun of everybody and engaging everybody. When I say making fun of everybody, I mean in an inclusive way, not a, hey, get the fuck out of here way. I mean, hey guys, welcome to the show. We're gonna be making fun of everybody here tonight. So I'm really glad you're here because you know I've been waiting all day to embarrass an entire room full of people. You're saying something to let them know we're here to have fun. Uh, you tease the other comedians without ridiculing them or insulting them. There's a difference. You can make fun and have, have fun with that rather than ridiculing. I had a comedian come on stage. I was one of my students, very funny guy, and he did something just totally surprising. It was out of the blue, uh, and it was very blue. It was very dark, very uh, art X-rated, and very edgy. Some of the crowd liked it. Some of the crowd didn't like it. So what is the MC's job at this point? The MC's job is to come back on and let everybody feel like, hey, it's okay. So what I did was, I got back up on stage and I said, uh, wow, that's, um, that is not what he rehearsed at all for tonight. That was just, where did that come from? You know, um, I, think, I think I heard the word dick uh, more times than, uh, you know, whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? You're, what you're doing is saying have, you're having fun with the audience, letting them know what happened was fun, and you're still gonna tease and make fun of the other comic, and it lets everybody know this is a game, we're having a good time, but it also lets them know that the MC is in charge of teasing the other comics and not the audience. So it stifles the, the amount of random heckles. You know, If you're doing your show right, if your audience is laughing at, the, at you and they feel like you are their friend, then you're probably going to get a heckle. But the heckle you get is not there to screw you up or to degrade you. The heckle is usually to participate, to have fun in the environment you created. So there is a good, uh, that, that, that's the good energy. 
That's the fun energy. Because if you then have a comic go out and ask a question of somebody in the audience, you want them to be able to respond, not to feel like they have to clam up. Do you understand what I'm saying? So um, MCs have to have that level of experience. The value of the MC is highly underrated. For example, if you're a good MC and you work on your MC chops, don't look at that as a negative thing. You know, if you're a comic, take any opportunity that somebody says, hey, I would love you to MC the show and MC the show because that gives you an opportunity to develop a skill set that you normally don't have a chance to develop if you're just working on your set or your material. If you get up there and you're working on your interactive skills, your crowd work, your welcome to the show conversation style of comedy, that's going to benefit you in the long run in so many different avenues. It's going to benefit you in audition situations if you're acting. It's going to benefit you in um, the way of doing warm-up work. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's high dollars to be made in audience warm-up. Uh, if you're not familiar with this concept, all live audience shows, whether it's a late night television show or whether it's a sitcom filmed in front of a live, live audience or like Ellen or America's Got Talent or any of these other talk variety style shows that's filmed in front of a live audience, odds are you're going to have a warm up comedian keeping that audience active and involved. And when you learn that skill, you now have developed that skill set to be able to get one of those jobs, which is pretty darn good. The pay is excellent. And on top of that, if you're in LA or where the, where the show is shot, you can leave after that's done, that taping of the show is done, then go out and do a comedy club. So you're actually just enhancing the skill. The, the other thing that's valuable about learning to do that MC work is doing hosting gigs for companies. You know, Las Vegas has a convention uh, every week, multiple conventions, and a lot of times they have hosts that stand there at a booth and represent a company with humor, and they can keep any, any people entertained. Or emceeing an entire research and development event for a major corporation. Those pay very well as well. So when you have that opportunity to emcee, take it so you can learn to enhance your skills to be able to include the audience. And you know, club owners, God damn it, put somebody with some experience up on the stage rather than some new person who's just doing, you know, can't seem to even get out a joke, let alone know how to, let alone know how to actually engage the audience, introduce a guest, and transition between a comedian. Another skill necessary for a comedian or, or an MC, another skill necessary for an MC is that MC has to sense how that previous comedian did. Like if that pre previous comedian is a high energy comedian and they know the next comedian is kind of a low energy comedian, they need to learn how to transition that audience to be prepared for the next guy coming on and bring them down. And the other way as well. If you have a low energy comedian and you, or you have somebody that just bombed, how do you get up there on stage, re-engage the audience, and then bring on the next person that's coming on to keep that audience fired up and ready to laugh at the next comedian? So you've got to learn these skill sets. And brand new comedians do not have them. They haven't had the time to develop that sense or that instinct or that ability to be able to engage that audience. So club owners, do yourselves and everybody else a favor. Get some skilled MCs hosting your shows, not new people. Uh, new people suck as MCs. Uh, put them in, give them five minutes after a skilled performer MC gets up there and warms up the audience. Then you can bring on some of your new people or bring on some, uh, the best way to do it is sort of the Jay Leno format for writing your jokes. Do the tried and true up front, do some new stuff in the middle, do the tried and true at the end. So you bring on a skilled MC who can get that show going, brings on a couple of good comics. You have a couple of new people right in the middle. You end strong with some good comics to close up the show and you have yourself a really sound format for beginning, middle and end for a solid comedy show. Anything else, you're actually doing a disservice to the other comics, to your own club, and to the audiences who come in and spend money at your business. So <laughs> do the right thing and hire some really good comics. I hope this brought some value to your day. I hope it's just not me up here ranting, but it's nothing more horrible than seeing a horrible MC ruin an entire show for both the comics and the audience and the club. 
Take care. I will talk to you soon. And go ahead and subscribe if you like the videos we're putting up here. Uh, just uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you again. All right. We'll see you later. I'm Jerry Corley. Jerry Corley over at StandUpComedyClinic.com. Bye-bye.